Hello guys, you're welcome back. My name is DK. Recall from the last class, we highlighted the various data types in Python, which includes integers, floats, complex, strings, tuples, lists, sets, and dictionaries. And we also gave some examples to illustrate them. But in fields like data science, you might need to convert from one data type to another. So by the end of this class, you will know how to convert from one data type to another. There are two types of data type conversion, implicit and explicit data type conversion. For implicit data type conversion, Python automatically performs the conversion during interpretation of your codes without your consent. For example, if I make three variable assignment, a1 is equal to 2, a2 is equal to 2.0, sorry a2 is equal to 2.0 and um, a3 is equal to 4. okay right there i have it there's a mistake here so don't worry about that so you agree with me from the last class that a1 is an int a2 is a float data type while a3 is an int as well so right here if i decide to add a1 to a2 so a1 plus a2 and when i move down you see that the interactive python shell interpreter interpreted the result here it gave me 4.0 which is a float now if i still do a3 divided by a1 and when i move down i still have 2.0 while a3 and a1 they are both integers so from the examples above python converts the evaluated result of a1 plus a2 and a3 divided by a1 to float so that it won't lose any data should the result have a fractional part so that takes care of implicit data type conversion now we we'll move to explicit data type conversion in explicit data type conversion we explicitly tell python to perform the conversion i will make another three variable assignment again to illustrate this so i have b1 equals to 10 then I have B2, we hold the value, the float value 20.4. Then I have B3, it's holding the value, complex value 2 plus 3J. If I set another variable C1, I will set it equal to, then I will call float. You know, float is a class, so it's a data type. Then I will call it as a function from the last class. You know what function means. So I will call it as a function, then I will feed in B1, which is the value i want to convert to float so b1 here is an int okay so now i will pack it i will cast it inside this float function to make the conversion so down here if i decide to print b1 to the screen type of b1 that b1 is of class int but if i check the type of c1 which is the one i must have converted to float you see that it's of class float and if i print c1 to the screen it gives me 10.0 okay so as after i must have made this conversion so that is explicit conversion i hope you get that all right so in that format i can still say c2 um is equals to i will cast it onto a complex data type then i'm casting b1 in there so when i move down and i decide to print c2 to the screen you see that c2 is now 10 plus 0j so an imaginary zero have been added to the 10 because of the conversion we made here now for sequence conversion i will create three variables as well the first one i'll call x1 and it will hold a string value now i'll move down i will create another one tuple t1 and it will hold a tuple of course you know how we create a tuple in parentheses now this is a tuple and i will go down i will create a list which i'll call l1 which will host some values as well all right so let me just add up a set so i'll create another variable let me xt1 which is a set and you know the rules with curly brackets so i have four variables there a string tuple a list and accept now our target is to make some conversions here 
Now to convert x1 to list sect and tuples, how we do this? I will create another tuple t2. I will set it up to I will call the function tuple as we did for numbers. Then inside this um, parenthesis, I will now reference x1 because x1 that I'm converting to a tuple. Okay. So down here, if I decide to print to the screen t t2 this time. You see that I have Python, you know, spread inside. X1 was a default string, as you can see. But after this conversion, calling this tuple as a function, I'm passing X1. And when I print T2, it's not giving me a tuple. So if I go ahead and reference um, another variable to a list, L2, for example, uh, is equals to, I will call list as a function, I will still pass on the string X1. So I'll move down. I can still call xt2, which is exact. I will do the same thing. I'll call set as a function. I will still pass on the string x1. Now down here, I will print respectively. I will print l2 is a list. And I will as well print xt2 to the screen. So you see here, I have a list because it's having a square bracket. And here I have a sect because it's having a curly bracket. All right, guys, that is Python 3 data type conversion for you. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again, and bye for now.